Perth's flu crisis is showing no signs of improvement. The health department revealing seven deaths in the past week. The number of influenza cases has reached unprecedented levels. Tracy Vo, doctors fear the emergency could get even worse. Well, Michael, there have now been 36 flu deaths in WA this year. Seven people lost their lives last week alone, while the week before there were a staggering 14 deaths from flu complications across the state. 564 children attended Perth Children's Hospital in the past week, more than any other hospital in the city, followed by Joondalup Camp Health Campus, Fiona Stanley and Armidale Hospital. This graph shows the extent of the spike over the past month, with almost 3,000 influenza the cases in WA last week. That's compared to less than a thousand infections in 2016, which was the peak from the past four years. We're just looking at the absolute tip of the iceberg. Around 4,000 Australians die from the flu every year. That'll be about 400 in WA. So these numbers that we're seeing are just those that uh, the coroner knows are caused by influenza. Uh, but the reality is there'll be far, far more than those figures suggest. More than 723,000 doses of the flu vaccine have been handed out. If you haven't had one yet, the advice is to get a shot as soon as you can. Michael? So important to get those shots.